Welcome to Shower to Chaos. Today we will learn the most advanced loop in programming in C which is very well known as the for loop. Now this loop is a little bit more advanced than the others because it has some features which the other loops just don't have them. You can achieve a lot more from this loop which you cannot achieve by others. So just getting started with the example. This is the basic format or the syntax of for loop. Alright. It's just like the other loops, just with the keyword for as the prefix. But the difference is done between these brackets. Normally what you would do is specify one single condition and execute it. But over here you need to do something different. You need to specify from where to start, up to where it should go, and up to if you want to increment or decrement the value. Now this may sound a little complicated, and it will be a little complicated in the beginning, but as you get used to it, you will see that it's not that tough. So, I've got a variable i as you can plainly see over here. Let's say I want to start the variable i, alright? I'm going to initialize it. I'm going to say I'm going to start with 0, go up to 5, and obviously since I'm going from 0 to 5, I'm incrementing the value, right? So, increment operator. Now, if I wanted to go from 5 and I want to go to 2, 1, I would use a decrement operator because I'm going well, a less, a less to a lesser value. Okay, so getting started. So first, what you need to specify from where you want to start. Let me say that I want to start with zero. Okay, so I'm specifying the value of i as zero. Now, I need to put a semicolon in between here. And this semicolon is put it over here because I want to specify the another condition which is up to where I want to go. So if you don't specify a semicolon, the compiler would just not understand up to where to go. So I just happen I want to go up to let's say 5. Now do keep that in mind, I'm just saying less than 5. Now less than means it's not going to take 5. It's going to be 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. If I want the 5 to be able to count, so I need to put in the equal to operator as well. Okay. So it's going to go from 0 to 5. If I just remove the equal to sign, it will go up to 4. So just keep that in mind. Now a semicolon to specify the increment or decrement operator. Since I'm going from 0 to 5, obviously I'm incrementing, so increment operator. And this operator was, uh, I explained this operator in the while loop, so if you don't know what it is, go ahead and check that out. So this is all your for loop all prepared and done. Now I'm going to just print the value of i, alright? I'm going to explain you why this thing happens. First let's see the output, right? So what I'm going to do is print the value of i. Now it would print 0 to 5. As you can see, it starts with a 0 and finish within 5. See what's going on over here. First what it would do is see what's the value. It will say that it's 0 it would check the condition is the value less than 5 if it's true it would go inside if it's false it would just not get inside the loop so since the value of 0 is less than 5 less than or equal to 5 it would go inside the loop so the first value would, would be printed is 0 that's what it's going to print first then the when it exits out of the loop and goes in the top again it would say the value gets plus plus so the value of i would be 1 and then it would check the condition. Is 1 less than or equal to 5? If it is, print the value of i. If it's not, exit out. So then it would print 1. Alright, I'm going to put a space between them. Now again, it would exit out of the loop, go on the top again. It would increment the value by 1. Now the value is now 2. Okay, 1 plus 1, 2. And it would check, is 2 less than or equal to 5? Yes, it is, so print it. That's what it's going to do until it reaches up to 5. Alright? So it's going to start with lo the loop with 0. It's going to check the condition every time the value gets incremented. And if the condition becomes false, it will not execute it. If the condition is true, it will keep executing it. It's really that simple. I think it, the thing gets really complicated if you don't practice a lot. Because this loop requires a lot of practice. Now, the next tutorial and the next one out of that is going to be just a for loop because it's a little complicated. This is the easiest example in the world to print the value of i. But what if we want to calculate the even numbers or the odd numbers? 
So this would be covered up in the next tutorial. So anyway, this has been a shout out to Chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you very much.